Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters in Tenant 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. These outreach, reaching out to the troubled souls. Don't miss it. CPR, Jesus Christ is Lord. Revelation chapter 5. Verses 5 and 6. The book of Revelation, chapter 5, verses 5 and 6. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. Have you seen it? 5 and 6. Even George reads. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seal thereof. And I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirit of God sent forth into all the earth. Now, I will only take two, 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 two words from these two verses. Only two words. Two words. Let me show it to you. George, read. One of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion. It's okay. The lion. Everyone say lion. lion. Say lion. lion. Read more. Of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seal thereof. And I beheld and lo in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts and in the midst of the elder stood a lamb. So, everyone said the lamb. These are the two things you are going to take home. The lamb and the lion. There are so many things we can bring out from there, but I only picked two of them. Say the lamb and the lion. Two supernatural nature in you. You may not know yourself totally because you're a human being. But God, who made you, made you in a unique way. He put two supernatural nature in you. And you are free to bow and to use them. The lamb and the lion. They are here today. I prayed and I have approval. They are here with us. The lamb and the lion. How can two of them meet together? Only God can join two of them together. Otherwise, if you leave two of them together, when you come back, you will not see one. One will disappear. But... Can I talk to you? Two of them are now living in you. Yes, the lamb and the lion. Think about it. <laughs> so I'm here to bless you. I'm here to bless somebody. And the blessing you will go with is lamb and the lion. Two of them are dwelling in you. Let me start from lamb. Where is the lamb in your life? Lamb! Read that verse uh, again. Uh -huh. Alone in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. In the midst of the throne and the four beasts. And in the midst of the elders, in the midst of elders, stood a lamb. Stood a. That is the point. In the midst of the elders, 
took a lamb. The lamb of God. What is this lamb for? You know what the, the lamb is. John one twenty nine made it clear. Can you open? John St. John's Gospel chapter one verse twenty nine. Read. The next day, the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him. John seeth who? Jesus. Jesus. Coming unto him. And said, And said, Behold! Behold! It don't happen. I come here with a testimony from heaven to make it clear to you. Behold! What? Lamb of God. The Lamb of of God. Not the lamb of the Flanese. The lamb of who? Walking with two legs. Not for a unique one. The lamb that can look at you and tell you the whole of your life. That is the lamb that is here this morning. The lamb. Let me tell you one or two things about the lamb. Behold. Look. See him. The lamb. That taketh away the sin of the world. Do you know what that means? He didn't say, Behold. The lamb that cleanses you from all your sins. Is one part of it. But this one, behold, he taketh away the sin in you. Behold him. As I'm speaking about him now, he's backing. Heaven is backing what I'm saying now. Heaven will take away any sin that is here. It is clear that he take it away the sin. It's a sin bearer. He did not come only to cleanse sin. Uh, some people say, uh, let your sin be cleansed. It's, that's wonderful. Let your sin be washed away. That is superb. Your sin is atoned for. That is good. But Jesus Christ, before whom I stand, here as Lamb of God, takes away your sin. What does it mean, take it away? My brother, my sister, he has taken your sins away that you will see them no more. You will see your sins how? No more. He took them. Ah. Threw them away into the sea of forgetfulness. Never. Whenever the devil says, you are sin, you are sin. Which one? Your sins have been taken away. I don't know the name of your sin. But it's no more. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. You are not here to clean up your sins. There's a time for that. But there's a time to take it away. And now is that time. 
and devil cannot do anything about it. It's taken away. It's not covered, though. It's taken away completely. Never to be remembered again forever and ever. It is thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. Behold the lamb that take it away. Not only take it away, he blotted it out. If you go and check your record, go and check your record. And you begin to say, hey, that sin, uncle. Say, which sin? There's no record of that here. There's no record. In a, in a record book, there's no record of that. There's no record of your sin here. Don't you know, Angel, check, don't you know the sin I committed uh, five days ago? Five days ago? Let me check the record again. Open. Wow. Nothing like that. Every sin here has been taken away. Don't remind God about that sin again. It's off. And forevermore. Many of you are suffering from guilty conscience. The enemy, the bugger, the devil, the dragon, old serpent, will come and remind you. You see, that sin you committed, so and so and so, so. Tell him who. Now you have, now you have father, father coming that, not, not me. Now you have father coming that sin. You, Satan. Can I announce to you now? Here's the announcement. All you have seen, no matter how much it is, have been taken away. That means what? You are free to say, Daddy. Dad, I want this. I want that. No sin can block you. Even now. As much as you say, Jesus, you are the lamb that take it away, my sins. You believe it? When John said these things, the Jews were confused. They know the meaning of lamb. They know that lamb has four, two, 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 two legs and two hands walking in horizontal way. Not in vertical way, but in horizontal. He's walking with flat, with the, the, the stomach on the, on, on the down. Horizontally. But the lamb I'm talking is walking vertically. It's not working like ordinary lamb. It's working with two legs up. And two hands up. It's a unique lamb. He's your savior. He has taken your things away. September 1 is the end of your sin. A new month is here. A new week is here. A new chapter is here. Behold the Lamb of God. This Lamb, let me tell you one or two things about it. This Lamb makes it to you a new creation. He makes you to be a new creation. If any man be in him, it's a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold the lamb. This lamb, not only that he takes it away your sins, he gives you power to be called the Son of God. <laughs> Before you were nobody, your name is son or daughter of devil. But this Lamb of God came. As many that received him, to them he gave power to be. Uh, don't take it too honey. To be what? To be come. To become. A transformation is taking place even now. 
You are growing from glory to glory. As many that receive him, today he gave power to become. What do you want to become? Are you satisfied with how you are? Or you want to become more, 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 more excellent? You want, to be, you want to be more rich? You want to be more handsome? You want to be more beautiful? Don't worry. As men that receive him, to them, he gave power to become. Be, I, I charge you to become that thing. That thing you want to be, be it now in Jesus' name. Behold the Lamb. As men that receive him, to them he gave power to become. <laughs> How many of you feel weak some time ago? You feel weak. Weak. It's normal as far as human beings are concerned. But for now, let the weak say, you have become strong. That thing you say you won't do, that thing you say you are so weak to do, you will do it. Devil has lost battle over your life. You have now become another thing. You became. To you, he gave power to become. You are not a son of God before. You are not a daughter of God before. But now, he gave you power to become. Before, you have no house. But as far as Jesus is concerned, he is here, the, the Lamb of God. He gives you power to own a house. Uh, uh, don't you know that it's written here? Check your, check your record book. This book. Check it. Open chapter 14 if you like, of John. He said, Let your heart be not trouble. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my what? <laughs> you call it heaven. He called it his father's house. In my father's house, there are many. I go to prepare a place for you. That mansion, as you call it, is being prepared for you. You are a house owner. You are a landlord. You are a landlady. Before you are nobody, but now you become a landlady, a landlord. Let nobody deceive you. Jesus Christ has built you a house. He who can build you a house at start, can he not give you Gary? Can he not give you rice? You become. The Lamb of God has made you to become something which you may not know even now. But time is coming when it will be revealed to you. You become. I may not waste your time, oh. What I would like you to do this afternoon is raise up your hand of faith and receive what he has made you to become. Nobody can change it. Satan times hundred cannot, cannot change it. His words are yea and the amen. As men that receive him, to them he gave power to become. Sister, you are becoming something new. Rejoice! Because you are becoming, if, if, if you see how you are now, you are becoming something. It's becoming something. Yeah, if you look at your Facebook body, you may not believe it. But remove this body, you will see the real man. You become. Hey! Let all 
all the demons and witchcraft hear me. You have no share in this covenant. Yes, I speak to you. You better go back to your, to your place. Your place is darkness. You can't become, you can't become a Christian. You are, you are damned forever. You Satan. You, you, you wishes a wizard. You unclean spirits. You are completely damned forever. But these children, they have become prince and princesses of God. They became. Nobody can change it to. You think that I'm preaching to you. You think that I'm just preaching to you. I am declaring the constitution of heaven. So shall it be unto you in Jesus' name. This is ninth month, you know so. I say on Sunday, from September to December, all your enemies they must lick dust. All the witches and wizards they must lick dust. All the familiar spirits they will lick dust. Hey, the one that is stubborn must die. The Bible says, let no witch live. Don't allow them to live. Listen to me. The Bible says, pray for your enemies. No, be so. Huh? Are you hearing me? Pray for your enemies. Do you know their prayer request? Do you know their prayer request? Uh, their prayer request, they are begging. It's time for them to die. They beg Jesus, please don't send us to that place now. That's their prayer request. But for me, I am not Jesus. If you are Jesus, you be. But for me, they are not Jesus. I am not Jesus. I am not Jesus. They can't beg me. They can't beg me. They have tortured my people. Their prayer, the prayer request I will request for them is that they will die from this September up to the end of December. Corpses. 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 They will die. Dead body. If your brother or sister is a witch or a wizard, if they don't leave, see their dead body. See their dead body. <laughs> they say, I should pray for my enemy. You don't give me prayer request. So I choose anyone I like. They must surely die. Some of them may not see the week, week, this weekend. You will hear story. They say, he say, I should pray for my enemies. I can choose any prayer request. <laughs> I can choose any prayer request. <laughs> Jesus said it. Pray for your enemies. I'm praying for them. My prayer is that they, will, they should die. And if there's anyone here, uh, and you are still living with, standing with your two legs, and you are still cooperating with the devil, I tell you, you may not see the end of this week. Let my people go. They will die. By the way, they do fly by day and they fly by night. Their wings are broken. You will look for them, you will see the normal. The Lamb gave us power to become demon bulldozers, demon destroyers. Are you hearing me? For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy. He said, we march upon them. 
and nothing. Shall by no means hurt us. My brother, my sister, by the authority of the word I preach, the word of God, I lose you to go in peace. As many that receive him, to them he gave power. I am exercising my power. It's not my fault. If you stand in my front and you're a witch, you're finished. If you are a mere, a mere, a mere, and you are standing in my front, you are finished. You better go and hide. Don't, 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 sh don't disgrace yourself openly. For you must surely die. Can you imagine what they are doing? They take, they, they handle your money and scatter it. They handle your business and scatter it. They, they scatter everything you have. What are you going to do with such a being? What are you going to do with such a being? They have come to kill and to steal and to destroy. What are you going to do with that being? Finish them. Just finish them. Just finish them. And the prayer is granted. Your prayer is granted. Your prayer is answered. We have a lamb that can kill a lion. We have a lamb that can sit on the throne. Bro, that your house you are thinking in your heart. That house you are thinking. You will build it though. Because I see some houses. I see, I see houses being built. I don't know who owns that house. I don't know. Who is this? I mean it all. I'm telling you the truth. There is a house being built here. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take, it. take the house. Take it, take it, take it. Don't tell me that you have no money. Money will come from east, west, north, and south. The lamb on the throne has decreed it. So shall it be. Do you know why I'm talking with boldness? I have told you a story. I was at Paracot. To buy... to buy a, 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 a gospel, gospel van with how much? 3,000. I was not looking for new one oh, because my money no rich. I was looking for Tukumbo. Not ordinary Tukumbo. Tukumbo, Tukumbo. Who is laughing? <laughs> when you say Tukumbo, na jankara Tukumbo, the, 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 the time may be shaking. I said, I go, money jam. I was carrying my 3,000. At that time, my 3,000 was so big. Uh -uh. I was about to tell my friend, lead me to a place where I can buy that land cruise, that, that land rover. With 3,000. I went into the bathroom to bath. Hiding my 3,000 somewhere. And when I went in, I opened the tap and the water came to my head. And I had a voice. Ezekiel, go back to Lagos. I said, what? I came to buy Land Rover. And I'm ready to go to Akreka, where I will get the cheap one. From Boraco to Akreka. He said, Ezekiel, why are you neglecting me? Why, why are you belittling me? Uh, is it too much for me to give you a brown new land cruiser? I said, it's not too hard for you, but I don't know how it will happen. I must be very frank. I don't get faith. 
my faith went down. But God will work despite your faith. God will work for you. Even though there is no faith. One man said, Lord, help my unbelief. Even though you have no faith, God is faithful. God will do it for you. Because of what? Because of covenant. The voice said, go back to Lagos. I said, how can I go back to Lagos without Land Cruiser, Land, Land, Land Rover? Say, go back. I'm the one who tell you, go back. I jumped out from my, from my bedroom. I told my friend, I said, I was told to go back. And I boarded the next flight. I came back home. But before then, I saw a new Land Cruiser come into my, into my bathroom. Into my bathroom. Come, come in. You know, for a Land Cruiser to, to come into the bathroom, comfortably well, how does it come? How, how manage? I don't know. But God is God. God can make the whole house to be in this handkerchief to show you that it's supernatural. You have a supernatural nature in you. The nature of a lamb that sat on the throne. The only thing that is wrong with me is that I don't know when I will get wisdom. God has shown me certain things that will make my faith to be high. But I'm still marching like a like dwarf. Say, go back. I have provided for you brown land cruiser. I said, what? I told my friend, I said, see what happened. Now. God said he has given me a land cruiser, a new one. I should go back. He did not believe me. I jumped up the next plane. I came back to Lagos. I was looking left and right to see whether there's any, any land cruiser. None. And my friend in R.T. Briscoe called me. He said, Ezekiel, there is only one land cruiser re remaining. Police people bought 39. We ordered 40. They bought 39. It remained one. Ezekiel, come and take it. I said, wait, come and take it. Come and take it. How? How? How can I come and take it? No money. He has told me. When God has said yes, who, who will say no? Do you know that God wants to do a beautiful thing for you? That thing you want to become, you will become it. I landed in Lagos and a message came. He said, Ezekiel, come. Come and pay. Come and pay for this land cruiser. Say, pay. How much is that land cruiser? He called the money up, up, up. I said, You're joking. I don't have money. Say, come. I went. Say, How much do you have, Ezekiel? I said, the money I took to Paracos is 3000 3000 And how much is a Land Cruiser check? He said, Ezekiel, don't worry. Go to Apapa. Go to my bank in Apapa. Go and withdraw all the money I have in the, in the, in, in, in the account. Come and pay for this Land Cruiser. I was looking. Is it, is it a voice or what? Is it a dream? I should clear your account to pay for this land cruiser. Who be me? When God begins to work for you, your mouth will open. I joined Moto Quick Quick. Richard Papa, I presented my check. They gave me money. I came back to Art Briscoe there. I paid. 
That's the last one. And they gave me the paper. I carried the Land Cruiser out of Alti Brisbane. The only remaining one, the best. I carried it come to church. When I carried this Land Cruiser to church, the church people, no grimy, enter the, church, the, the, the Land Cruiser. The woman, the woman said, they will enter first. Said, they will enter first. So, is it okay? We are going to enter this motor. I said, no parabola. As far as he has come out from our table, make you not enter. I said, driver, this woman said they will enter. Take them home. Then I will wait for you here. When you finish taking them home, come here and pick me home. I just relaxed. I was thinking about these things. Is it dream or not? My friend, God will make you to become. The nature of lamb and lion is in you. That's how I got my first land cruiser. And the woman entered into that land cruiser first. I said, if in a temptation I win you, if you want to ride it around, take. They, they were taking home one by one. And they brought the motor back. I said, now it's my own. I was riding on that motor, and I was told, Ezekiel, when this one is old, I will provide another one. When this one is old, I will, I will continue to provide. And since then, I testify to God. When it is almost getting, another one will come. How it came, I don't know. Somebody will just come and say, take. I take. The one I'm writing now. Now so. Take. I take. <laughs> that miracle is coming to somebody. It may not be in, in the area of a vehicle. It may be in the area of another thing. But a miracle is coming to you. Behold. The Lamb of God. That takes us away. That old thing that is troubling you will be taken away. Behold, he made all things new. God surprised me. Behold the Lamb. That seated on the throne. That is the Lamb for you. I won't waste your time. Let us come to a lion. A lion. Revelation 5, 5. One of the elders said unto me. One of the elders said unto me. Weep not. Hey, hey, hey. Is there anybody weeping here? You are lamenting. You are crying in the night. Only you and God sees your tears. And the elders said unto you today. Weep. Your day has come. Your miracle has come. Oh, you are not hearing me. I say your miracle has come. Weep. Wipe away your tears. And then what happened? Behold. Behold. <laughs> Behold. See well. See well. Don't look at it physically. See it in the spirit. Behold. Behold what? Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead. The root of death. If you don't know, it's the root. This lion is the root of Jephthah. Root, not branch. It's the foundation. <laughs> it's the original. Is the original original the root? The root. Huh? The root of David. Of David. Do you know David? You you heard about David. The mercies of David. God showed him mercy. The root of that mercy. 
is by your side. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Has prevailed to open the book. Has prevailed to open your book that was closed. Uh, that book of success in your life. That book of life in your life. That book of prosperity in your life. That book of good things that was closed in your life. The lion is the king of the jungle. Any, any animal that comes to him, it tears into pieces. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. My brother, you will see the outcome very soon. Prevailed for you is the king of the jungle. We are living in jungle world. And the lion has conquered for you. Uh -huh. Has prevailed to open the book. To open the book. The book you, 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 you are thinking that is closed. And to lose the seven seals. And to lose the seven seals. Thereof. Thereof. That thing they seal up in your life is open. You know, the marine spirit, or whatever you call them, in that aspect, which is a wizard, they seal your success. They say your money will never pass so so, so and so on. Seal it. We seal it, they said. The lion. Look at them. You see what, what do you see? You, you see the prosperity of my servant. You see the prosperity of my daughter. I am the lion. I am the king of the jungle. I am able to lose anything you buy. And when I bind, you can lose. Is able to lose the seven seals. Bruh. Seven there means perfection. The last of the seal. That thing, that thing that is troubling you, I pronounce eh? I pronounce destruction to it. The lion of the tribe of Judah prevailed for you. He is the king of the jungle. We are living in a jungle world. We are living in a jungle Lagos. We are living in a jungle Nigeria. But anything they bind here, anything they seal here, oh, our lion has loosed them all. The nature of a lion is not in, the, it's in you. Everybody say, I am loose at last. I will go out from here with an open door. You are loose. Let no man trouble me. I have the mark of Jesus on me. The weight of glory is weighing me down. And I want to say, no enemy will escape. No enemy will escape. No enemy will escape. Those who are troubling you, none of them will escape. No one of them will escape. You are loose from the abundance. You are loose from the abundance. Anything they see is broken. Where are you? Are you not in clinic? The lion of tribe of Judah is the doctor. He never loses any case. Your case is solved. Your case is over. You are loose from your bondage. You are loose from your chains. He's a king of jungle. He will never let you go crying. 
He will attend to you. He's a compassionate savior. He came to you as a lamb and came to you as a lion. Anywhere, anyhow, if they come as a, as, 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 as a jungle people, lion will, will finish them. If they come as gentle, the lamb will attend to them. What I mean is that you're a winner. Turn it to the right, turn it to the left, turn it up, turn it down. Anywhere you turn it, you're a winner. Lion. Lion of tribe of Judah. Not only that, he will tear every bondage. Huh? He will protect you. Do you know how lion used to eat? Because he's the king of the forest. He's the king of jungle. If a lion wants to eat now, he, he won't make a ga -ga 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 -ga. No. As I learned, at times they will urinate. They will urinate around the forest. Huh? They will urinate, urinate. And they will go and sit down. Finish. Any antelope or animal. Now, when he go and sit down, do you know what he will do? He will roar. Oh, ah, 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 ah. And the animal will hear, will hear that roaring. They will pick rest. And when they come to the line where you urinate, they won't pass. They will stand because the, magnet, the, the majestic magnetism of the lion is holding them. And he will come and pick the one he will eat and eat the other one. He, he used to eat like a king. Eat like a king. My friend, no power will destroy your business. No power will destroy your family. The king of the jungle is protecting you. If they come by the air, better. If they come by the land, better. If they come from the sea, but anywhere they come from, you are protected. You are protected. I say you are protected from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are protected. The lion roar. Not only protecting you, the lion roars with glory. When he roars, glory of the lion will fill everywhere. They will hear the roaring of the king who will stand. I want to tell you down that very soon, our king will roar and we shall be caught up together to be with him in heaven. With a shout of angels, he will run. Ah! Lazarus, come forth! And we all shall move from this world to meet him in the air. The wedding of the rapture we will soon be here. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. For our king lion, we will soon be here. Well, in closing, if he is the lamb, if he is the lion, we are the sons and daughters of lion. Uh, are you hearing me? If you don't fear me, fear my father. <laughs> if you don't respect me, respect my father. My father is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Do you know what happened now? I don't normally like to be saying some of these things, but they encourage you. As I'm talking now, there's a circle. A circle. A circle going around. And uh, when you come, yeah. circle. And some people are entering into that circle. 
What does it mean? Protection. You are going home with a circle. The lion has circled you. The lamb has circled you. You're a winner. I am in the circle now. You can't take it away. There's, n- <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. I am inside that circle. It, it, the circle just come. It just come. And I have entered the circle. Shapa Kotile Kilamba Baba Toria. Shankala Baturi Baba. He has come to encircle his children. Touch not. Touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no harm. In circle. In circle. Then what can we do? Let me remind you of our old slogan. Slogan. As much as lion is in you, lamb is in you. I raise up my hand to pronounce unto you that the Lord is your shepherd. And you shall not want. I say you shall not want. Uh, Some people are taking it. Let me repeat again. I say, in, in the name of him who sent me, you shall not want. Why? Because he make it you. You are not making yourself. He make it you. To lie down. Sit down there. He's watching over you. He make it you to lie down. In green. It's not a place where you will starve. It's a green leaves you will eat. In green person. He is leading you beside the still what? Peace. Peace all around you. He's leading you in paths of what? Don't fear sin. Just don't touch it. Sin will never kill anybody here. You are not a slave to sin. Sin has, sin has its own portion. But you, you are a portion of God. He will restore your soul. He restored your soul. Leading you in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Do, do, do. You walk through the valley of death. You walk through Ajegure. You walk through Ikurudu. You walk through Maitu. Dead, 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 dead. Fear them not. You will fear not. Why? Because the lion is by your side. Lion is by your side. Lion, lion is by your side. He is with you. He will never leave you, no. Why? Because his rod and staff comforts you. He has prepared a table before you. In the presence of your enemies. He will like you to eat in the presence of your enemies. That they may know that God is your God. Upon that, look at your head. He has anointed your head with oil. What kind of oil? Oil of gladness. From henceforth, let your life be filled with joy. Let your life be filled with a joy. And your cup will be running over. Surely. What is goodness? Huh? What is goodness? You don't know. What is goodness? <laughs> Somebody say in vernacular, if a man. What is goodness? Answer me. 
Let me tell you what is goodness. Almighty God, the Father is good. Father is a good God. Goodness, Father, and mercy, Jesus. For his mercy endured. Who, who can kill Jesus? Let the person try. They try, and three days, Jesus came out again. And say unto them, I forgive your sin. You don't know what you are doing. <laughs> Goodness, Father. Mercy, Jesus, following you all the days of your life. How many days? Take note. All the days of your life. God the Father, God the Son following you. You are going home with two escorts. By your right, God the Father, goodness. By your left, God the Son, mercy. You are in the center. Tell me, who will touch you? You are a contraband. I say you are a contraband. Devil has no, no business with you. You are too much for him. You will rejoice forevermore. Hey! The trumpet will soon sound. And time shall be no more. And the best thing is this. I will see you there. I will see you there. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Happy clinic. God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isakel, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isakel, Co-Pastor, National and International Coordinator and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Matip Salami Street at Jawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.